What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you a brand new series today. I've got some Europa Universalis 4. This is the El Dorado DLC, and it's been a long time since I've done some EU4 on my channel, probably back when the game first came out. So we're talking, what's that, uh, 2013, maybe even 20, early 2014 since I've done a series for my channel on EU4. And I'm really excited, uh, of course, with the El Dorado DLC. It has the custom nation creator, and so I thought it would be fun. I've created a nation here called Dalmatia, which is this little purple uh, country here that you can see next to Bosnia, Austria, Hungary, and um, this is a that's a true region um, in Europe. But uh, it was held, let's see, by the Austri Austrian Hungar Austro Hungarian Empire. Um, all the way through World War One, and um, until the empire was sort of broken up. So now with the game starting in 1444, I want to see if I can sort of take an independent Dalmatia, maybe expand into Bosnia here, Serbia over here eventually, and um, because they currently hate me, uh, ally with Austria, maybe go up against Hungary depending on what their relations look like, and then tech up as much as possible and try to make it over to the new world and start colonization. Um, we might even have to go into Africa too. We'll have to take a look at that. But something to watch out for is the Ottomans are going to be after us uh, the entire campaign, or at least I, that's what I foresee happening. And you can see if I go to the relations tab, so right off the bat, the Serbians and the Bosnians hate me. Uh, the Ottomans have a poor opinion of me, of course. Uh, all because of religious differences. I'm currently a Western nation. Let's take a look. Uh, despotic monarchy. Western nation. And um, I actually have really good power points to start off with. And I also have a really good air. Um, so I'm going to be picking up eight uh, monarch points in each category from the get-go. And I did that sort of in the nation creator uh, to give myself a little bit of a boost um, just starting out. And uh, I think it's going to propel us into having a very successful campaign. Now, um, I also did a couple of things to, let's see, to edit some of the uh, Dalmatian ideas. I didn't take as, he uh, as strong of ideas at the beginning just because I took so many tech points in the beginning and I realized sort of that's gonna be, um, I wanted a slight advantage but not an overall huge, huge advantage. Um, we do also have a really good starting income at 2.84 ducats a month. Uh, most of that coming through trade, you can see 2.2 income in trade so far. Force limit is currently five out of seven, so we need to actually, um, while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and build a couple of land units, the Halberd Infantry there. One, two. So bring our, um, actually bring our army up to seven units there, and... Yeah, Bosnia might be the first target, actually. They currently have a truce with the Ottomans. Tech level, military tech level 3, which is the same as mine, of course. Um, but if we go to the ledger, um, so we're going to start scheming on them, right? If we go to the ledger and check out um, the army size here, and if I go down to Bosnia, they currently have 3,000 men with a force limit of only 5. So, with a force limit of 5, I have a natural... Um, advantage in terms of numbers over the Bosnian army, which will be nice. Uh, let's go ahead and while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and hire a general. So Daniel Bebek there, we'll boost him in there, get him going. Did cost me some money to build up my units a little bit and get the, get the, um, the general going. Uh, if we take a look at the trade, my starting trade position is pretty favorable. I actually hold territory both in the Ragusa trade node here as well as the Venetian trade node. And you can see I currently hold 9% from um, a Venice standpoint. Uh, Venice obviously holding the majority there with 45%. And then I also do hold... Uh, Ragusa is not a very wealthy trade node, but I do hold a majority of the power there, 17%. Austria actually holds the next biggest at 6% there, but there's not a lot of income flowing through that node. You can see it's only worth 1.1. This one, on the other hand, is worth 10.1. So, we want to focus those efforts on Venice, obviously. If I go to my trade 
tab here. Yeah, I had I took a merchant away from Constantinople and have sent him to Venice to start collecting from trade there. So our income should go up slightly, but then again, we do have additional forces on the way, so uh, that will maybe probably stay about the same-ish. Um, I'm going to leave my army maintenance all the way up at the current moment just because um, we want to make sure that uh, we go to war against Bosnia here from the get-go. I want to go ahead and I think I could crush them actually. Take a couple provinces and then even maybe turn them into a vassal and then diplomatically annex them later. That's the plan at least. We'll see. No mission has been selected so um, wow England is asking for a alliance right off the bat which is sort of weird because they're nowhere near me. We're not going to do that. Um, I will deny that. While I'm thinking about the diplomatic stuff, we'll go back to that in a second. Um, while I'm thinking about the diplomatic stuff, we need to go ahead and we're going to send for a royal marriage with Austria. And that might be enough to bump us up into the alliance area. Yeah. So I can take an alliance with them here. Uh, once I get the diplomat back, as soon as I get him back, we will offer the alliance and then I might park another diplomat there uh, eventually to improve relations to just make th make sure things go nicely for them there uh, here we go offer alliance send they have accepted our offer for that very nice so that's some early protection which is always good I probably won't even ask them to go to war with me against Bosnia uh, we'll see they if they uh, ally with Serbia or not right off the bat Serbia has been discovering, discovered fabricating a claim in our province. Let's go back to the ledger. So I've got to deal with a potential 5,000 troops with Bosnia. And then how many does Serbia have? Do, 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 do. My hand is not near the keyboard at the moment. Serbia, Serbia, Serbia. They can hold a potential six. So I'm dealing with uh, up to 11 right off the bat. Now, if they do go to war with me, hopefully Austria would jump in along with me. They've got a nice 38 stack up here. That's a lot of troops, a lot, a lot of troops um, to have at their disposal for the moment. Bosnia does not currently hold any alliances. I don't have any existing Casus Bellies, so we're going to have to go to Covert Actions, Fabricate a Claim. So uh, which province is the most valuable in terms of base tax actually they're all sitting at two there so what i'm going to do is um, just go ahead and fabricate a claim on donji donji there okay serbia on the other hand is allied with uh, byzantium which normally gets uh, absolutely crushed by the ottomans okay so now back to picking our uh, starting mission uh, we could try to improve prestige that'll give us a one stability boost Royal marriage with Hungary. Um, we would get five prestige and 25 diplomatic power. Uh, that's something we could actually do, I want to say. If I were to ally with Hungary too, that would... Uh, that would be good for us. The other one we could do is to try to liberate um, Zagreb. Zagreb is located in Hungary. That would give us five prestige, it looks like. Yeah. So, how how does Austria like Hungary, though? Um, it looks to be pretty neutral. 23. It is positive. They do have some slight border friction. The Teutonic Order and Milan. And then, of course, Austria allied with a bunch of small countries such as myself. We could at least get the, the royal marriage going. Uh, so we'll send that off. But meanwhile, uh, make sure I don't forget to put that mission on just to give us some extra prestige. Disputed succession. Ooh, Austria does uh, have a decent claim on my lands. We do have a free advisor slot. Uh, I'm not going to exactly... I'm not exactly going to do anything about that yet, but, uh, oh, and too few rivals, that's right, um, let's set our rivals, of course, enemy number one being Serbia, I'm also going to set the other one as Bosnia, and then lastly, maybe Tuscany, where's Tuscany located, oh, all the way over here, huh, I don't know, 
I think that's all I'm going to pick for now. I'm actually going to leave one rivalry blank. Unpause it again. Okay, Albania is asking for an alliance. Uh, I believe they're in trouble from the Ottomans. Yeah, still at war with the Ottomans there, so I'm going to decline that alliance request. And we're looking at... I'm going to bump the speed up as well, just for the time being, as we're trying to fabricate the claim. Not much I'm going to be doing until then. Uh, we are still making positive cash at 1.34, so that's good. And somehow I uh, lost a lot of income in my trade. So I wonder... And that was by sending this guy from... Uh, from Venice there, so... Huh. No mission has been selected. So we did get the small prestige bump there from that. Improve our prestige. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, what do we have to have? At least 50 that might... That uh, may or may not be happening. Solidify our papal relations will give us five prestige. I can do that. They currently hate me from what I remember. Yeah, they're considered hostile, but wouldn't hurt to improve the relations with uh, improve our relations with the Pope, right? So let's go ahead and improve relation there. I'll send one to the papacy. And then I do think it makes sense to grab an alliance with Hungary just uh, in for future reference as we try to hold off the Ottomans from expanding northward into the rest of the Balkans. Um, same religion, plus 25, royal marriage. They do have a truce with the Ottomans right now, so it wouldn't help me short term, but it's going to take the Ottomans a while to get up here. And you can see they really, really dislike me. Um, I could get pulled into wars against Poland and Bohemia if I do grab an alliance with them. I think it might be okay just to keep the Austrian alliance alive for the moment. Uh, Serbia is not going to be able to do very much to me unless they get into an alliance with Bosnia, then that would sort of hurt me a little bit. But the AI is not seeing that, so that's good. Keep our poker face up and make sure that no one knows about that. 1.28 income. Okay. I'm definitely going to try to save as many Monarch points as I can to get up to Admin Tech 4. Because, oh, extract him to go forward, gain 5 Papal Influence, gain 5 Prestige. I currently don't have any Papal Influence, so we'll, we'll bump that up, which will be good because I'm Catholic. Okay, we now have the Casus Belli against Bosnia, so let's go ahead and declare war on them. Just double check, they don't have any... Okay, good. They don't have any uh, allies still. Oh wait, cancel, what was this? Okay, they, they are trying to improve relations with Hungary. Too little too late, buddy. Um, Austria will not come in. Uh, defensive attitude towards us, that's why. That's okay, not gonna need you. So we went ahead and declared war there, and let's go ahead and march into Bosnian territory and see if we can just take out their army from the get-go, then I'll carpet siege. Uh, they do have, and I am taking a river crossing there, but that's okay, we should still win that battle, and we did. So now march over here and try to wipe them out completely. Take another river crossing, which sucks. But it is necessary. They did bring in reinforcements, it looks like. Uh, I still win there. This is a tough Bosnian army. Oh, and Ottoman Empire has warned us to not go to war with any other countries. We naturally dismissed their upstart ambassadors for such a ridiculous slight on our majesty. That is ridiculous. Ottomans have now told me that I can't go to war with anybody. AKA, I'm going to have to watch my back from them. I'm going to have to have my guys sort of uh, reinforce for a second here before we go back into battle. March you into Ragusa really quickly. And at least get your morale back up and reinforce. I do have good war score going on now at uh, 5%. OK, 
Okay, now that we've healed up a little bit, let's march over here. Almost 5,000 troops there we'll take in. Whoops. Okay, we won that. I think I do have enough to finish them off now. Oh, thank God. Okay. So we'll detach a siege here. And I'll detach another one to go up here to take the territory that we have a Cassus Belly on, and hopefully I can reinforce my troops before they are actually able to build another army. Yeah, and I don't have enough guys yet to detach another siege, so... Need to let my guys reinforce. We're down to 7,400 manpower now at this point. Um, I do have some cash. Well... Still looking at 7 out of 7. Once one of these um, provinces has been totally sieged, then I'm going to take them in and sort of hit them from a sandwich angle there from both sides. I think this one will probably be the first one to go. Maybe not. They still have high morale and almost 2,000 men there. Uh, same over here with that province. So I'm going to take as much as I possibly can in this war and then still have sort of a um, availability to annex them through vassalization later. Especially now that I've got the stupid Ottomans um, being pissy about me expanding. They do want my territories. Might be worth getting that alliance going. Oh. They will take it with me once this war is finished up. So, Okay, guys, hurry up. Uh, lose 50 diplomatic power or lose 10 prestige. I think I'll take the prestige hit at this point, especially since we're trying to tech up as much as possible. Uh, nice, we solidified our papal relations, getting us the 5 prestige back. So, I'm actually going to stop relationship improvement right now and free up a diplomat and... Mm, can't send them too hungry yet. Oh, and the Ottomans actually are already at war with Serbia. That's not good news. So the alliance with Hungary is going to be huge. Okay, so we're able to win this battle here. Take you over here to help out with this siege that we're already working on and then what I'll do is I'll take the slice of this army like this put you guys back together detach and then take my general and march down with my 5,000 troops and try to take out those guys of course I take a river crossing we did get a lot of good war score from that one detach and this will okay we've now properly carpet sieged the rest of the country yeah so we're looking good there. Auto save. Yeah, with the Ottomans already coming in here up against Serbia, that's going to put us right up against their borders, unfortunately. So if I can grab most of Bosnia here... Um, that would mean Hungary would have a similar border to the Ottomans. Who else hates the Ottomans that I can maybe ally with? Hungary for sure. Okay. They were at war together before the campaign actually started, technically. Uh, we, we can um, tech up to diplomat level 4, but I'm not going to do it quite yet because um, I want to get this peace deal done, and I'm going to need diplomat points to in order to do that. We'll take this two stack and move it down here and combine him like this. We are taking lots of attrition. Okay, no. Oh, we can actually get a claim from Serbia over here in Zeta. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pick that one once um, this war is over and see if the Ottomans will let us actually take Zeta here. Base, base tax two. 
Um, speaking of, let's pick which provinces we actually want to take in this deal. Yeah, not 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 extremely invaluable land at all. Um, you can see two base tax there, two base tax there, and a big fat two base base tax there. Let's take these guys up. Um, okay. Okay, we've totally sieged them out, so let's hit the pause button, and it does look like, uh, okay. Serbia now does have a truce with the Ottomans. It does not look like Serbia lost any land, necessarily. Did they become a vassal? No, they did not. Okay, that's good. Anyway, let's look at our peace deal here, and that's gonna wrap up this episode. Um... Full annexation we could technically do, but it's one, two, three, four provinces. That's going to be a lot of overextension. Okay, this would work. Turn it into three provinces and then have Bosnia still as the vassal. And then uh, give me all of your money. Only seven gold. That's kind of lame, but uh, that's okay. And then we can also force the religion of the Bosnians to come over to uh, Catholic, which will want to improve our relations when we go to diplomatically annex them. Send the demand. Okay. Spy offense plus, uh, actually, I'll take the prestige there. So now we've got a bunch of different stuff to do, including changing religions over, uh, coring first and foremost. Um, we can actually tech up now as well. We can tech up uh, for military technology, so we'll hit one of those. And then admin technology, I'll hit that one as well. Although that was really stupid because I do need to core. It does look like I have enough points left to core start coring at least two of them we are still making good monarch points up plus eight so i did that a little backwards but we'll be fine and then we're almost to tech level four too diplomatically um, we can build buildings truce we now have the truce with bosnia free military leader i do have to wait 10 years before i can diplomatically annex them but we have expanded let's see if my force limit went up it did go up by one to 8,000 men. Cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed this content. And we'll catch you next time.